Hello internet, uh, a bit of a, a strange video today but um, yeah with all the heat in the UK at the moment um, yeah people abroad will go what that's normal for us <laughs> yeah I know us Brits don't take heat the way you do um, I brought myself a, a little air conditioning unit now I know this may seem a bit of a luxury um, but I work from home my son works from home and my office gets it or gets the sun first thing in the morning gets really really hot doesn't really cool down yeah, till about three, four o'clock when you know, I'm about finished work. Um, my son gets the, he's in the back of the house, so he gets the sun because we're southwest facing in the afternoon. So his room gets really hot and, and stays hot until you know, quite late at night. So I bought this air conditioning unit. And obviously what they come with is an extractor. You've basically got um, a port at the back there, which throws out the hot air. And this connects to it, but the trouble is with these, they're only about a metre long. Um, you do get, let me just uh, reach over here, you do get this contraption, and uh, basically it plugs into there, and that's supposed to sort of slot into your window to, you know, to basically enable you to port the, the hot air outside. But the trouble is, uh, these probably work well on sash windows, that kind of thing, not so well on opening windows. So, I've been a little resourceful, and what I've done, we'll put that to one side for a minute. I've looked at the things that come with the actual kit, and this is if you want to port it outside. Um, so that's very handy, but obviously I don't want to drill a big hole in the wall. Um, where I really want to put this is out on the landing, so it sort of cools the, the top half of the house. So what I've done, I bought myself a couple of reducers, I've bought myself ooh, some sneaky hose. And what I plan to do is cut this here acrylic that I've got to the size of the window. It's obviously going to need a little bit of strengthening. That's fine. And the idea is to make a window inside the window. So the window will be fully open. This I can make well, a pretty tight fit. So it slots into the window opening. And then I thought with these... 45 degree bolts here what I can do is just make two fasteners at the side to keep it in place um, but like I say what I'm gonna have to do I think is strengthen it up a bit and then what I'll do is basically put the port there and if I want to put it onto another window I will um, obviously with this flexible hose it gives me a lot more reach um, so we can move it further out of this room because this room doesn't get used it's a spare room uh, a bit of a dumping ground to be fair at the moment so that's the idea so I'm not going to bore you with it, um, and I'm not going to waffle anymore, but I'm going to start cutting up the acrylic here to match the window, get it to a fit that I, I quite like uh, and feels, you know, pretty secure. And then look at how I batten it up, strengthen it with some wood maybe, and uh, put the securing locks in place. So, yeah, if anybody's had this problem before, I'm not saying this is going to work, but you're following me for the ride, and... Um, we shall see what happens. It may be a complete and a mitigated disaster, but uh, I hope not. Um, right, let's let's start cutting. Well, I don't mind telling you cutting it down was a bit of a challenge, um, but I used a fake Dremel and took my time and uh, yeah, got through it. But not looking forward to uh, making a hole for uh, the adapter to fit into. Um, but there you go. It's in the window ledge as such. Um, so halfway there, right, let's, um, let's very carefully make a hole. Well, it's probably not the prettiest of jobs, um, but yeah, using my freight Dremel again, I've managed to, uh, to get the exhaust port in there. And uh, yeah, I didn't screw it in, so I didn't want to chance it. It's not the thickest of uh, acrylic glass, this. Um, I think it's quite easy shatter. I don't want to get a bit, uh, sorry, give it any stress points. Uh, obviously, I don't want it to crack over there or anything crazy like that. So I shall let the uh, bathroom sealant dry that I stuck it in with. It's pretty tight in there anyway. Don't think it's going anywhere. And uh, then, yeah, all I need to do is uh, yeah, put my, my reducers in like so. Put my pipe on like so. And then mount it in the window with... Um, yeah, gaffer tape. <laughs> Again, it ain't gonna look pretty, 
but it's going to do the job. Did I mention it weren't going to be pretty? <laughs> it definitely isn't. There you go, it's in place. So there's the exhaust port. It just pops out like that, Oop, like so. Yeah, might take it off, who knows. Um, yeah, and lots of lovely duct tape, but it does the job and it's pretty secure in there to be honest. So um, let's get the pipe connected and uh, make sure it all works okay. From there, to there, to there. And there you have it, just where I wanted to put it. Excellent, perfect. Look at that, blowing out lovely cool air. Pipe. Yep, doing its job. There you go, even got a flapper. Excellent stuff. So, there you go, that is um, my little DIY engineering bodge project for you. Sorry, different, I know. But hey, needs must. <laughs>